Like the great explorers Ferdinand Magellan, Neil Armstrong, and Jacques Cousteau, researchers and students at Penn State are pursuing uncharted territory in a world that is so unimaginably small that sizes are measured in a length unit called the nanometer. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter. It's so small that a strand of hair is roughly 100,000 nanometers wide. This is the world of nanotechnology, where it's possible to manufacture virus-sized structures and machines by manipulating atoms and molecules. And for students in Pennsylvania, this is a world of vast opportunity and what Newsweek has called one of the fields of dreams and the next frontier for hot high-tech jobs. Over the next decade, the National Science Foundation estimates the United States will need 800,000 to 1 million skilled nanotechnology workers, and the White House Office of Science and Technology predicts it will lead to the next industrial revolution. Nanotechnology is already being used to create nanovectors that have the potential to cure Alzheimer's and other neurological disorders. It's leading to the development of smart bandages that will allow surgeons to repair severed tendons as well as optical sensors that may someday eliminate blindness. It's also being used to develop nanoscale sensors that can detect and eliminate toxins in our environment. Pennsylvania is leading the way to education and training in this breakthrough field through the Nanofabrication Manufacturing Technology Partnership, established in 1998. This partnership, called the NMT Partnership for short, was created to help meet an industry need for technicians skilled in nano and microfabrication. It involves Penn State, Pennsylvania's community colleges, the universities of the state system of higher education, Pennsylvania College of Technology, and the Center for Advanced Manufacturing and Technology. Secondary schools, vocational technical schools, private industry, and other organizations also participate. The heart of the NMT partnership is the hands-on 18-credit capstone semester taught continuously at the multi-million dollar Penn State Nanofabrication Facility located at the Penn State University Park campus for students from partner institutions. Well, the facility we have here at Penn State is a resource for all of Pennsylvania. It's a resource for the country. Uh, it's one of a handful of facilities in the United States. It's a world-class facility uh, for doing research, for doing development, for doing education. We have $26 million in equipment in the facility, and it's state-of-the-art equipment. In fact, in some cases, it's, it's ahead of state-of-the-art equipment because it's equipment that we're developing for industry. Both employers I worked for and the ones that I were, had offers for all said that this program trains you so we don't have to. You're already trained in the clean room. You know, you already have clearance for clean rooms. So it really, a six month period's gone. You can start right away. Really, when, when you graduate and companies learn that you've gone through the program, they just start pouring in. You get offers from everywhere. Students in the NMT program are earning the nation's first associate degrees in nanofabrication by combining three or four semesters of coursework at their home college with the one semester capstone at the Penn State Nanofabrication Facility. Other students take the capstone to earn a baccalaureate or advanced degree with a concentration in nanofabrication, while others may choose the capstone semester to obtain a certificate in nanofabrication. The NMT partnership also reaches out to secondary vocational technical school students, allowing students to enter the home colleges with advanced placement. This connection between the vocational technical school and the partner institutions sets up a seamless pathway to the NMT partnership. A community college offered degrees in electronics and the technician level. Uh, everything else was more theory whereas the nanofabrication technology program at Penn State offered real-world applications. It incorporated theory into actually hands-on devices. The nanofabrication partnership between high schools, community colleges, and universities provides a seamless career pathway. It's an excellent means for students not only to obtain career opportunities and information about this exciting field, but also to obtain advanced college placement. 
students come to the NMT partnership from a broad range of backgrounds and every corner of Pennsylvania. Many are just preparing to begin their careers and want to enhance their studies in electronics, chemistry, biology, and other disciplines. Others are already in the workforce and have enrolled in the capstone semester to broaden existing skills in microelectronics, optoelectronics, biotech, or other fields and enhance their earning potential. Nanofabrication training makes workers less vulnerable to the business cycles of specific industries and gives workers the ability to move among different kinds of industries using nano and micro technology. Yeah, I uh, enrolled in uh, this nanotechnology program is mainly because uh, I've been working in the uh, semiconductor industry for a number of years and then uh, I feel that there's a trend going to nano scale and then uh, to be able to join the program and learn the new skill so I'll be more competitive in the market. Through lectures and lab work, students develop a broad background encompassing aspects of biology, physics, and chemistry, as well as the engineering principles of design, process, control, and yield. Students gain hands-on exposure to top-down nanofabrication, which involves depositing and etching materials and bottom-up processes that build up of designer materials and structures layer by layer. This process of self-assembly mimics the way Mother Nature builds things and can be used alone or with top-down processes to compound the effectiveness. Here at Fairchild Semiconductor, we recognize that nanofabrication technology is the path to our future, and we need a trained technical workforce to help us to reach our goals. We need them to be trained in the areas of fabrication, as well as in our laboratories, as well as non-technical areas. Penn State is just one of five members of the National Nanofabrication Users Network, created by the National Science Foundation to support nanotechnology research and development across the U.S. The NMT partnership was created with support from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania to leverage this highly valuable research asset for educational purposes and was designated as a National Science Foundation Advanced Technology Education Center in July 2001. If one is in this field, uh, one is being given a set of skills that can be exercised, can be used for one's entire professional career and move from one aspect to the other, move back and forth from one industry to the other as the job opportunities arise in one industry or the other. After finishing a four-year degree, it's a lot of theory, uh, not a lot of application, and you really, uh, I felt unsure as to what I could really do in the world. Um, but after coming here, um, this program has definitely prepared me for entering the workforce and, and the real world. The Penn State Nanofabrication Facility has a staff of professional engineers, Class 10 clean rooms which are 1,000 times cleaner than a typical hospital operating room, and a full spectrum of sophisticated bottom-up and top-down processing equipment. This is an ultra-clean environment required for research, development, and prototyping activities at the nano level. One of the advantages of the program would be um, to experience industry from people who have actually been in the industry. Um, and our teachers certainly were people who were there and they, you know, they, they have brought back a wealth of experience with them that they are able to share with us so that when we go out into the field, we know what it's going to be like. Students from the NMT program go on to work in dynamic companies that are high-tech leaders. Teamwork characterizes many of the jobs and there are often opportunities for career advancement over time. The kind of educational background we're providing here is not a background directed towards one industry. It's directed towards a whole spectrum of applications. So there's really no limit that a student has with this kind of education. It's applicable to a whole spectrum of industries. The NMT partnership has made Pennsylvania the nation's leader in nanotechnology education. The spectrum of industries that are using nano and micro technology continues to expand and spread. Pennsylvania students have an unprecedented opportunity to build a foundation for exciting and rewarding careers built on nanofabrication skills. Pennsylvania workers from microelectronics, optoelectronics, biotechnology, and other industries have an opportunity to increase the range of industries where their skills are in demand. Find out more about ways that you can be a part of one of Pennsylvania's fastest growing technologies. Find out about the Nanofabrication Manufacturing Technology Partnership.
pioneering new worlds at the size of a molecule, nanofabrication, small objects, leading to a huge future.